room for this but I am so excited for today's video because first of all we be making candy second of all I have never made candy before so this is gonna be an experience let's get started all right so the two packages I have here today are gummy factory sweet and sour and this is by horizon group USA I'm realizing I'm realizing I've done a lot of these like kind of DIY kits from them and some of the past have worked some have failed so I guess we're gonna see how this one goes and I'm also going to be trying charms blow pop lollipop shop guys if you know me blow pops are my absolute favorite lollipop because not only is it a lollipop but there is gum inside so if I can make my very own that is awesome um, I think we are, hmm, I think we should start off with the Gummy Factory first and then we'll move on to the Blow Pop. All right, let's go. Gummy Factory, here we come. Got the box. In this container, we are gonna be making a six inch jumbo gummy bear. Wow, I don't think I'll be able to finish eating this, maybe. I'm a hungry college student, so maybe. <laughs> and a bunch of other gummy um, bears, worms, fruits, all that sort of stuff. And I'm so excited that it's actually sour things because I love sour candy. All right, I got all my stuff out. Here's the mold for the giant gummy bear and the instructions which look pretty simple. I'm happy about that. So the first step is to choose the gummy powder that I want to create and then I'm gonna put two scoops full of that into the bowl. So wow, they sent me quite a bit of packages. Let's see what flavors there are here today. All right, so there's gummy mix green. I don't know what the flavors of these are. Sour apple maybe? Um, green. Yellow. Red. Red. We're getting somewhere. Yellow. And blue. So we got blue, red, green, and yellow. Ooh, what colors do I want to do? Hmm. <laughs> I think I am going to do the red because red is my favorite color and I want to try to make the jumbo gummy bear, so we're gonna do red. All right, I'm gonna open this up and then I place two scoops into the bowl. Where is my spoon? Spoon is so tiny. Ah! Okay, let's see. Guys, I'm not the best chef, but I've been getting HelloFresh, not sponsored, and I feel like it's been helping me become a better chef. This is one spoonful, right? It's just going over the edge, just a little bit, you know? One, and I can't tell how much I'm grabbing. Two, that, that, looks, that looks good. Whoa, they're falling everywhere. Ah! Okay, um, now I need to place two spoonfuls of warm water into the mixing bowl. All right, this is hard because the spoonful is so tiny. Okay, one, two, and then we mix it together, mix it together. This is what it looks like, nothing much. Ooh, it is kind of gummy. It's like jello in a way. It smells like cherry. Guys, my least favorite flavor before I reveal it, comment down below if you know. Hurry, hurry, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, my least favorite flavor of them all is grape. I can't handle grape. It's because grape is the flavor I used to have when I was little and that'd be the flavor of my medicine. And so every time I taste grape, I taste medicine. So, cherry's okay though. I know a lot of people can't handle cherry, but that's probably because they add cherry for their medicine flavor. Okay guys, I think I pretty much understand what this is asking for. So you just have to make enough to fill up your gummy trays. So I'm gonna make a bunch for this red one. And other shapes you can make are snakes, gummy bears, and fruits. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour in a bunch of red and then we're going to make the gummy bear. But I want to taste this first before it's all hardened. Oh, uh, I can't tell if I like this. It's like, <laughs> I keep eating it even though I don't like it. It's like, it's like jello in a way, but it's, it tastes weird. I don't know if I, I, uh, I don't know guys. I do not give it a thumbs up for the flavor so far, but I'm going to continue doing this. So that's one scoop, two scoops, three scoops. Okay. I'm just going to keep scooping this into the bowl, four scoops, and then I'm going to do the same amount of water and I'll be back when I come to fill up the gummy bear. Okay, you guys, so I finished pouring in all of the red powder. And this is what it looks like. I don't think this is enough for the whole mold. And this is all the red powder. We will see. Let's start filling this up. I will give it like red feet. I hope I like did the right consistency too because Halfway through, I just gave up on counting and I just poured it all in and as much water as I thought it needed. So, yeah. Maybe I didn't put enough water in, but this is not gonna be enough to fill up the whole gummy bear. Um, <laughs> I think we have a problem. How did they have enough for their gummy bear? They lied. Okay, well. We're gonna make this gummy bear multicolored, and we might not even have enough to put in all the other molds. This is sad. What the heck? This is as much as I filled. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell because it's red, but I filled it up to here. That's it. I have all this left. That's all the red I got. So this gummy bear is gonna be multicolored because obviously we can't just have a gummy bear with just feet. So. I'm not even gonna clean this bowl. I'm just gonna put all the other flavors in. I think next we will go with yellow. Let's go with yellow next. We'll just have a rainbow gummy bear and hopefully I'll have some left for all the other molds. But I, I don't know. It depends on how much I can fill this gummy bear up. All right guys, I am back and I made all the colors, not just yellow. So. I have filled up the giant gummy bear. It is green, yellow, and red. Now it's not all the way like full to the top, but I think it'll be enough. And I think I actually made it too thick. I could have added more water. I don't know how that's gonna affect things, but I think I stick this in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until it's solid. Now I think it's talking about the molds right here that I stick in for 30 minutes. So I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Hopefully not too long because I want to update you guys tonight and not tomorrow with how it turns out. But I also had some blue, and so I filled up these molds with it. Here's, whoa, I guess I could just pop them out and show you. Here is the uh, fruit mold. Then I also have the gummy bear mold and the gummy worms, which I didn't feel all the way. I have two slots left. So I'm really excited for this. I hope they turn out super good and yummy because I'm all out of gummy bears and gummy worms. Actually, no, I have some really hard gummy bears. They're like rock hard. So if these turn out really good, then I'm gonna eat those instead. But yeah, I'm gonna pop these into the fridge, clean up because this desk is messy. I have so many packets on here. And then I'll come back with the second package. Okay, you guys, I stuck those into the freezer and now I'm back with the blow pop maker. It's time to make some lollipops. So they've got the instructions here. It's a lot longer than the other one. A little bit more complicated, but at least it has pictures because your girl needs pictures. All right, so I took out the plastic mold. I washed them all beforehand because ain't nobody need the germs and the nasties on these things. So I am going to fill the bottom plastic mold half full with candy powder. Oh, what? Okay, guys. So this is complicated. Okay, so they gave me two options. They gave me grape and cherry. Ain't nobody gonna use the grape one. That stuff is gross. Comment down below though if you like grape because I know some people do like grape. Some people don't like cherry. So it's either, either you're a grape fan or a cherry fan. So I am going to, uh, how do I do this without it spilling? Whoa, 
Whoa, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> sorry if you guys can't tell what I'm doing. I'm filling up this plastic thing. So I have to fill this up with the candy powder. And now I have to do it with one hand. This is like a real challenge. The one-handed candy filling up powder. Okay, so I think that's what's gonna be hardened. All this stuff, they look like Pop Rocks. I'm gonna test it out. That's not Pop Rocks. <laughs> but they do have low pop gum, and they say to cut it in half, or you can use a full one, but half is recommended. Hope my scissors are clean. Uh, yeah! I feel like I was like um, a karate. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the gum in the center. This is like hardly any gum. There you go, you guys can tell. <laughs> and then I have to fill up the rest, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I have to fill up the rest with candy powder. So, I'm gonna pour this in. I think I filled it up pretty much. And now what I have to do, insert the filled mold into the machine, gently push it until you hear a click. Make sure the mold is completely inserted. With the candy press in the raised position, move the operating handle to heating on position. Lock it by putting it to the right. Wait, oh, I think I'm supposed to push it down. Okay guys, you don't know how much of a struggle that was. That was like frustrating. I finally got the stick to insert into the machine though and I pressed it down. <sighs> All right, so now I have to move the operating handle to heat on. Is it there? Okay, it's there. Okay, it says that after it warms, I have to press it down. But, like I'm pressing it down already and it doesn't go all the way down. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I overfilled it, but I filled it up to the right amount. So I'm just gonna let it heat up for 15 minutes. And I hope this heats up because I had to go to the store and buy batteries since it didn't come with batteries. That was so annoying. And there weren't like regular batteries, they're C batteries, which I don't know if you guys know what that is. But I went to the store, bought batteries, and I put them in and I realized that one of them didn't have a little spring. I don't know if that's a fire hazard and I don't know if that like loses its charge. So I hope it's it's gonna heat up and work, but I guess we will see. I hope this is not a fail and I hope the gummy ones aren't a fail. I'm hoping I'm doing something right. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to heat up and then I will come back after 18 minutes, press it down and then it's gonna it's gonna be a while till this is fully made. So you guys are gonna see this really fast, but I have to wait and watch my candy be made. I don't know if this is worth it or if going to the store and just buying a big bag full is worth it. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. All right, guys. So I was waiting for this machine to heat up, which I'm pretty sure it hasn't done anything since the time I left. Um, my phone alarm went off for the gummy bears because they are done cooling in the refrigerator and I think the big one's even done too. So we're gonna take them out of the mold. Here they are. Um, I already took this one out to see what it was like and it is bananas! Ta-da! All right, we're gonna try it and see if it tastes good. I This is the blue one, so let's see if it has a flavor. It's kind of a hard gummy. Hmm. Oh, wow. This is very sour and concentrated. Oh. Uh-uh. Oh, no, 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 no. That's way too much. Ugh. I don't know if it was just that gummy bear. Okay, I feel like I need to try another one just to make sure that I didn't have a faulty one. I'm gonna peel out the snake from the container. <gasps> Ooh, oh, it's like a worm snake. Okay. Here's what it looks like, my little gummy worm. All right, here we go. Honestly, better, not as concentrated. Definitely sour. But it's very chewy and cold because it just came out of the freezer. But that one was good. I don't know if I 
would like make them again though just because I don't really like the flavor as much and I feel like you can make this cheaper by buying jello packets and mixing that and then just pour it into any mold and then you can make as big gummy bears as you want or you can buy a tiny little mold to put them in but I think it's time to finally take the giant gummy bear out I don't know how we're gonna do this <gasps> Dun, 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 We made it, guys. I can't believe we did this. Oh my gosh. It's kind of cute, to be honest. I like the three different colors. Ta-da. The back is kind of looking a little bit rough and bumpity. Bumpity? Just, just don't mind the back, but the front. Oh my gosh, so cute. I am obsessed with this. All right, I think it's time for the ultimate taste test. Here we go. Let's see what the green side of the gummy bear tastes like. I'm gonna bite off its ear a little bit. Ah! I can't tell if it's different from the blue one, but they're so, I don't really like the flavor. I'm gonna, okay. Try the red one and see if it's the same as the green. Mm-mm. No, they all have a different flavor, but they're all very sour, but not sour in a good way. I think I made them too concentrated. Like if I added more water, it would taste better, but I'll try the yellow. The yellow is the most mild flavor of them all. The yellow is actually the best, but wow. We made a giant gummy bear, you guys. I'm just like biting it off slowly. Yeah, the green and the blue. Very concentrated. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I have to give it a thumbs up because it actually works. Like, I made them. The flavor is not the best, but I made them still. I think I think we did a good job. Mediocre, I'm giving it myself a C. This, on the other hand, has not heated up at all. What a fail. I give this one an F. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my own blow pops and I am going to go get a hair dryer. I'll be right back. All right guys, here we go. When in doubt, blow dry it out. That didn't work, but I just spilled it everywhere. So, <laughs> this is a mess. I have to clean all this up, but I, I'm, I'm glad the gummy bears at least work. We've got, we got one out of two, 50% of these projects work. So I give the gummy factory Thumbs up, not the best flavor ever. But I give the blow pop maker a zero out of 10. That thing is the worst. I do not recommend it. I probably am doing it wrong or else it's just the machine. Comment down below if you know someone who has this or if you have it yourself and if it works because I really wanna know. This is annoying me a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe, turn from red to gray and hit the bell icon be notified whenever I post a video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.